Hey guys, I want to share with you again something I got from the Lord. Uh, he said to tell my people uh, to quit talking the problem and start declaring the answer. Job says, decree a thing and it shall come to pass. I want to, I've been somewhat reluctant to talk to people about, about their giving. Uh, you're going to need harvest in the future. Now I'm, now, I'm not asking for money. That's not, that's not what I'm doing. I'm telling you, you're going to need to harvest. Life comes and goes in cycles, and you're going to need a cycle of harvest coming in. If you're at a place where you can't give what you used to give, give half of that. Give a third of that. But don't quit planting your seed. Now, this is a, a time that we're going to have to use our faith. We don't have a choice. The just shall live by faith. We're going to have to use our faith. And so this thing will turn. And I don't want to sound preachy to you this morning, but in James chapter 3, it talks about turning the horse around. Well, when you turn a horse around with a bit, there's lots of pressure on that horse's tongue. And so the enemy's putting pressure on people's tongues to talk the negative. You need to understand in this life, God has power, but he has no authority. He uses the authority off of your tongue. Faith is a word fight, and you need to watch what you say at this time. And, and so when he puts pressure on your tongue to say what it is, that's Mark 11, 23 and 24, backwards. We need to say what we want, not what we have. If you keep saying what you have, you're going to keep getting what you have. He also said there, a large ship. I don't care how big the storm. We can't afford to talk storm. The rudder or your tongue will turn. So have a mindset to turn your circumstances around with your own mouth. So start making declarations. God is my source. No weapon one against me shall prosper. Uh, greater days are ahead. Uh, begin to say in agreement with what God says about you. That your needs are met. Don't talk lack. Don't talk destruction. And don't blame the government. Don't blame uh, different parties of the government. Who's behind this is Satan. Satan is the blame. But when you start blaming people, you get bitter. And when you get bitter, you cut yourself off from grace. And so we ought to pray for those that who have the wrong mindset. And so listen to me carefully. Faith people will come out of this winning and shining. Carnal Christians, it's going to take a lot longer for them. But if you'll use your faith, this is what we're designed to do. We are believers, and we overcome, and we already have the victory. The victory is the price has already been paid. So don't yield to your emotions. Don't, don't let your sight and your feelings and your carnal understanding guide you. It's a time to declare that God is alive and all is well. Thank you.